Why is our classical reality three-dimensional? There is a remarkable and often overlooked clue hidden in the structure of interactions themselves. If reality had only pairwise interactions, our world would never need to become three-dimensional in the first place. A system of two interacting bodies, whether planets or electrons, always reduces to motion in a single plane. This is a consequence of symmetry. In a two-body system, angular momentum is conserved around one axis, forcing the entire evolution to remain planar. Pairwise interactions are too simple, requiring at most a two-dimensional relational stage. But the moment we move from two bodies to three, everything changes. The three-body problem can no longer be flattened. Generic three-body interactions break planarity and exchange angular momentum through multiple channels. Three-body and many-body systems demand genuine spatial depth. Two dimensions are no longer sufficient to encode their freedom, evolution, and stability. A three-dimensional relational arena becomes unavoidable. Quantum mechanics makes the argument even sharper. The stability of atoms of matter itself is only possible in exactly three spatial dimensions. In fewer dimensions, forces collapse systems. In higher dimensions, they fail to form stable, localized structures. The existence of atoms, chemistry, and life selects 3D as the unique dimensionality where complex structures can persist. Three-dimensional space is not arbitrary. It is the minimal geometric context for stability. Two-body physics alone is too symmetrical, too compressible, too planar. Only when interaction complexity rises beyond the pairwise regime does the full dimensional structure of our reality become necessary. Our classical three-dimensional world is an emergent consequence of complexity. Depth appears when interactions become rich enough to require it. 